more great wrestling action here. Mike Lazansky taking on Steve Gillespie, two up-and-coming Canadian young stars. Mike Lazansky, of course, injured last week, but hey, he's back this week, Frank. Recovered well after taking on Benke Sasaki, and he's uh, all fired up and ready to go here against Mr. Gillespie. And of course, Sasaki got suspended here last week because he took unnecessary roughness with the, uh, trying to win that match, and it certainly wasn't necessary. And I'm real pleased to see Lazansky back because he was doing well, and he's got a lot to learn. He's trying hard. Gillespie, of course, is doing the same thing. It'll be a good match. Well, you're right. Benke Sasaki was suspended after the incident that happened with Mike Lazansky. But hey, hats off to Mike Lazansky. Not even a week to recover, and he's right back in the squared circle there against Steve Gillespie. I'll tell you, these two young Canadians, though, should be a good one. Steve Gillespie hailing from Calgary, Alberta, weighing in at 223 pounds. And Mike Lazansky from Vancouver, British Columbia, in at 225, evenly evenly matched here in the ring as far as weight goes again and they're both strong they've been working out very hard to improve their lifting abilities and their weight lifting of course to build up their upper strength and i think you saw an example of that when he did that roll over there well i'll tell you one thing for sure i had a chance to talk to the promoter fred may after uh, bulldog bob brown here coming out here at ringside telling us well actually told the world i guess you could say no and bulldog that he has not been suspended anymore. The suspension has been lifted. Well, I had to check into it. I mean, how many people out there are going to believe Bulldog Bob Brown? Well, Fred May says the meetings did happen with the attorneys, and they have not come to a definite answer. So we'll have uh, more details for you later on in the program as things develop. But right now, Mike Lazansky is on top of things with Steve Gillespie. I'll tell you, not even a week to come back after Ben K. Sasaki did the damage to him a week earlier and he's on top of his game well he certainly is and i would like to see the suspension lifted on brown for no other reason i'd finally like to see motormouth get into that ring because it would be interesting to see if his talent matches up with his talking ability because he can talk up the storm well you know for weeks we've been talking about the cnwa what does it have to offer to people well hopefully some young and up-and-coming talent as some as the seasoned veterans of the world of professional wrestling and hey, promoter Fred May didn't stand behind Benke Sasaki, who sucker uh, kicked, if you will, or punched Mike Lazansky. The suspension has been handed out to Benke Sasaki, so hopefully he won't be back for a long, long time. What a chop there by Steve Gillespie. Standing flying drop kick there, right from a standing position. And he's got Lazansky tied up on the ropes right now. And a little bit of a cheap shot there, Frank. Well, it certainly was. It was a little bit surprising because this match has been relatively clean. These are two up-and-coming stars, and you, one of them's trying to learn how to be a bad fellow already. Well, you know, things start to get a little heated up in the ring uh, between opponents. I guess at one time these guys uh, were starting off around the same time, both of them around the same age. Steve Gillespie might have a little bit more ring savvy than Mike Lazansky, but hey, do the fans love this Lazansky kid? Coming out of Vancouver, British Columbia, you heard the crowd erupt when he came out here when the uh, match was about to start. The young ladies crowding around the ring every week for a good-looking guy, but whoa, a clothesline there by Steve Gillespie. Well, that'll straighten up the curls that <laughs> Lazansky's got there, but Lazansky's got a pretty good build, like I say. He's working out on it, and maybe, just maybe, that's why his opponent's doing so much to go against him and hit him up and give him a few things, but look at this move. What a beautiful move by Mike Lazansky. Never seen that one before. A reverse head scissors, I guess you could call that one, and flipping him to the mat, and right back to work on a chin lock. You know, you want to talk about some of the stars that are here. How about some of them that are coming in? One you will be seeing a little later in the program. Big back body drop by Mike Lazansky will be Diamond Timothy Flowers, the Diamond Man, I call him, hailing from New York City, New York, now making his way here to the CNWA, and he's already ranting and raving about why he isn't the number one ranked professional wrestler here in the Canadian National Wrestling Alliance. So, Frank, you know, we've got a man with a bit of an ego, but I'll tell you, I've seen him before throughout Central Canada. He is one of the most sadistic wrestlers I have ever encountered, and he will be here later on. And, you know, we were talking about the ratings. He throws him out of the ring there through the second rope. A little too much of this tonight already. Gillespie going to Jamie Stringer School, I guess. The same kind of maneuvering there. But we've had word that coming up in the next uh, few weeks or so, you 
people at home will be glancing at some of the top contenders week after week. Well, they'll see NWA heavyweight, lightweight crowns, as well as the tag team uh, championship belts will be coming out, and that tournament uh, will take place, and someone will be wearing the coveted gold, if you will, of the CNWA. The other thing that'll be interesting about it, of course, is that by switching over to the Friday night, we're trying to give the youngsters a chance to come on out and enjoy the show. They don't have to worry quite so much as we did with the Wednesday night about the idea of going in and missing school or anything like that, because that's not the intent. So we're going to go Wednesday night right now, as, of course, we're doing the taping, but then we'll go to Friday starting next week. That's right, and of course, uh, any uh, adult accompanied with a 12 or, or under will get in for half price. The child will, and the second child gets in for half price. Is, is that the way it works? Of course, the first one will get in absolutely free if they are under the age of 12 and accompanied by an adult. A whip here by Lazarski and a beautiful flying drop kick, and you can see Gillespie grabbing onto the back of his head, catching it on the mat there. Small package. Here we go. Only a two counts. Gillespie still has a little something left. I'll tell you, Ed Langley definitely having a workout tonight. These men are definitely flying in there. Lazanski with a chicken wing there, throwing him over, going for that pin again, but he's got his legs up in the rope. You got some weird and wonderful descriptions on these different moves that the fellas make, and I, you must be reading the uh, Wagner and D Dictionary every week. <laughs> but it's interesting, and of course, that's the way it is. It's been interesting all the way through for these two men, and nonstop action. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If people don't think this is the roughest, toughest uh, sport going today, I don't know, Lazarski might have outsmarted Gillespie here. He's got him! Mike Lazanski with an impressive victory over Steve Gillespie right here on the CNWA. 